my name is Swati Sharma. I'm from the Indian Institute of Technology, Mandi, and I'm offering this course, Carbon Materials and Manufacturing via the NPTEL program of the Government of India. Okay, so this is the introduction to the course. Hmm, so you can already see what are the primary contents of this course on this slide. Now, let me tell you a few interesting things about this course. Why did I come up with the, uh, you know, the course design that we have? Okay. So carbon materials are used for a lot of manufacturing application that you already uh, perhaps know. Okay, we use uh, nano and micro scale carbon materials. We also use large scale carbon materials. We use composites made of carbon materials and all of these materials are uh, used for a lot of industrial applications as well as a lot of research worldwide is focused on carbon materials. However, whenever you try to find information about carbon, you will often find information related to one specific type of carbon. For example, graphite hmm, or graphene or uh, carbon fibers hmm, or other bulk industrial carbons. So what I have tried in this course is I have tried to teach carbon itself as one material. Hmm. So I don't call uh, graphene a material or I don't uh, call carbon fibers a material. I just call carbon itself a material. We try to understand carbon at its atomic level, hmm, its hybridization states, hmm, how the carbon molecules are formed, and then we move on to crystal structure of different carbon materials. And based on that, then we move on to manufacturability of carbon materials or their properties or the microstructure property relationship. And of course, finally, the applications. OK, so now you must be thinking that um, since we will talk a lot about hybridization, this might be, you know, more towards the fundamental science course. Well, that that is only 10 percent. So if you see the introduction to carbon part, hmm, that is the part where we are going to talk about not just carbon atom and hybridization, but also we will talk about the phase diagram of carbon. Uh, we will talk about the allotropes of carbon. What is the definition of allotrope itself? Hmm, how many carbon allotropes are already there and how many are possible? Hmm, how many primary allotropes we have and how many secondary allotropes, allotropes we have? OK, in this context, I have also introduced a new term hmm, called curved carbons. Hmm, so what are curved carbons? These are the carbon structures which are, um, of course, as the name itself suggests, they have certain curvature. So, for example, um, Buckminster Fullerenes, they have complete they are completely closed spherical structures. Hmm. But at the same time, we also have some structures, some structures which are not completely spherical, but they have a certain curvature. Hmm. So they are, let, let's say they are wavy, they are folded sheets, they are rolled up sheets in various different ways. Hmm. What are these sheets? These are the sheets of hexagonal sp2 hybridized carbon materials. But because of these uh, foldings, because of the curvature, sometimes you also have non sp2 hybridization states. So hybridization that is between sp2 and 3. What we call it? We call it sp2 plus n hybridization. Hmm. So that is an interesting uh, concept that you're going to learn in this course. And we will also learn how these curved carbon structures uh, are found in large scale carbon materials. Hmm. So non graphitizing carbons. We are also going to learn non graphitizing and graphitizing carbons, the difference between these types of carbons and how we manufacture carbon itself, for example, from polymers or some, uh, you know, petroleum products. OK, so what is very interesting about carbon now, you must have already guessed that I'm talking about making carbon itself. Hmm. So, for example, when you do uh, fabricate or manufacturing with, uh, let's say, a metal. Hmm. So what do you do? You don't really make the metal. Hmm. What you do is you take the metal and you perform certain uh, manufacturing operations, uh, let, let's say casting, forging something, and then you make a shape, make a structure out of it. But in the case of carbon, we make carbon itself from the organic materials. Hmm. OK, so that means that when we are making a certain shape using carbon, we need to understand it as a material manufacturing pair. Hmm. So you cannot just understand the manufacturing. You cannot just understand the, the material. You need to understand it as a combination for different carbon materials. So this is what I have uh, tried to do in this course. Now, what are these carbon materials that we are going to mainly cover? Well, graphite. Graphite is our gold standard. Huh? Whenever it comes to any carbon material, we always compare the properties with that of graphite, except the diamond-like carbon materials. So diamond and diamond-like carbon are also there in this course. But let's say 
uh, about 5%. Hmm, especially we have the vapor deposited diamond film and uh, carbon, uh, diamond like carbon films because these are industrial coating materials. So we have covered that, but rest of it is mainly graphite and graphite like materials. Okay. So we will talk about graphite. Then we will talk about non-graphitizing carbon, as I already mentioned. So glass-like carbon, porous carbons, which are uh, which can also be activated. Hmm, we will talk about carbon black. We will definitely talk about carbon fibers and a lot of composites, including CFRPs, which means carbon fiber reinforced uh, plastics. And we'll also talk about carbon fiber reinforced carbon, hmm, also some carbon metal and carbon concrete composites. Okay, then we will move on to carbon nanomaterials. So carbon nanomaterials will only form, say, 20% of this course. So don't think of it as a graphene course. Hmm. This particular course will talk about carbon nanomaterials, but just as some forms of carbon, hmm, we will not go too much into the details of, let's say, um, you know, applications of graphene and carbon nanotubes, individual specific applications and so on. Okay, afterwards, we are also going to cover uh, some of the characterization techniques which are essential if you want to understand uh, carbon materials. Hmm. And then finally, we will discuss the application and applications can be many. Hmm. So I will tell you which type of property is useful for which type of application. I will not cover all the applications or all the examples, but just a few um, you know, representative examples. And towards the end, we will also talk about some general topic, for example, uh, supply chain, because if it is industrial carbon, uh, you know, course, then you need to know a little bit about how to also, uh, you know, we move on from uh, research to business. So this course is basically going to be useful for anybody who wants to go into an industry and also for everybody who wants to go into further, uh, you know, research and higher studies. OK, I also cover a few advanced manufacturing techniques, for example, uh, micro and nanoscale fabrication. All together, by the end of this course, you should be able to appreciate carbon as a material and uh, you should be able to design your own carbon materials and manufacturing, um, you know, different manufacturing uh, techniques. OK, so I hope that um, you are as excited to learn it as I was to teach it. Um, good luck.